Hi everyone and welcome to this quick guide on installing VitaDB on your PS Vita. If you enjoy content about homebrew applications, gaming tips, and unboxings, consider subscribing to support the channel and let's dive in. What is VitaDB? VitaDB is a powerful homebrew store for the PS Vita, offering a wide variety of third-party apps, games, and utilities. You can download these directly to your console as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi. Right now, there's a current issue. Recently, users have reported a problem with VitaDB. During installation, the app tries to download and run SharkFood, which installs a necessary file. However, this process has been causing crashes. According to the developer on Discord, a fix is in the works. But for now, we have a manual solution. Before we get started, make sure that you have a jailbroken PS Vita and a fully charged battery to avoid any interruptions. And if your Vita isn't jailbroken, check out my simple guide in the description down below to get started. Before we move on to any of the two methods that I have available for you in this video, we have to check our PSM runtime version, and this is going to fix the issue. Now to fix the issue, we'll need to update the PlayStation mobile runtime version, which is called PSM. PSM was a software framework for downloadable PlayStation content on the PS Vita, PlayStation TV, and certain Android devices. You can check your PSM runtime version by navigating to the settings, under system, and under PlayStation Mobile. My Vita currently has no version displayed, so we'll need to install this manually. Let's begin with method 1 using the Crystal PSM app. This is the easiest method to update the PSM runtime because it's a one-click installer. On your PC, download the required files. First download the Crystal VPK app. All these links will be provided in the pinned comment down below. If you don't have SharkFood installed on your Vita, download the SharkFood VPK. Moving on to transferring the files to your Vita. Connect your Vita to your PC via USB through Vita Shell and copy both VPK files to the root directory of your Vita. Disconnect USB mode and on your Vita, install the Crystal VPK app using Vita Shell. Once complete, install the SharkFood VPK. Close out VitaShell and open the Crystal app. It will download and install the necessary packages automatically. If this method works, proceed to run SharkFood. It will install the required file, which is the libshackccg.suprx file, to enable VitaDB. If this method fails, proceed to method 2. Method 2 is manual installation. This method involves manually installing the PSM runtime versions. Let's download the required files on our PC, download the package installer VPK. All links will be in the pinned comment down below. Next, download all three PSM runtime versions in the second link provided, version 1.00, 2.00, and 2.01. Moving on to transferring the files to your Vita, connect your Vita to your PC via USB through Vita Shell. Copy the package installer VPK to the root directory of your Vita. Next, create a new folder in the root directory called package and copy the three PSM runtime versions into this folder. Now disconnect from USB mode and install the package installer VPK on your Vita using VitaShell. Once finished, close out of VitaShell and open the package installer app. A menu will appear and you want to select install from UXO slash package. Navigate to the UXO package option to locate the runtime versions. It's important that you do this next step carefully and not mess up your Vita. Make sure to install each package from the lowest to the highest starting with the version 1.00. It will be hard to tell at first which version is which, 
but version 1 is going to be the easiest as it's the shortest line out of the three. Select the package and wait for it to install and if it's successful the system will notify you as success. You can double check by opening the settings and checking the PlayStation Mobile version under system and it will now be updated to version 1.00. Go back to the package installer and move on to version 2.00. Typically this is the third one on the list and the version will start as A0200-V0100. Install that package and once it's finished double check your version again in settings and confirm the update. Move on to installing the final version 2.01 and this one reads as A201-V0100. Install the package and once it's finished go back to settings and verify the update. Once the PSM runtime is updated, run SharkFood. It should now install the libshackccg.suprx file correctly. Open Vita DB, and it should now function as intended without crashing. And that is it for this guide. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if this guide helped you or if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you encountered any issues, drop a comment so I can assist you. Don't forget to subscribe. One of my goals this year is to reach to 60,000 subscribers. So supporting the channel will be much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.